Right, so we last week we began to talk about what career is as against calling. And we say career is pretty much what you do to get a return, what you do to get paid for. You're extending your time for payment. So it's pretty much a transaction in physical terms, right? I do you work, you pay me, right? That's what a career pretty much is, right? And it's different from a calling. The calling is just, you're not looking for any reward. Like I'm doing this for your church right a calling is that what you do to get a reward also just that the difference is that reward is not physical it's metaphysical it's spiritual such that it's it, even though it's such that it's something that benefits the whole of your being that's what makes you happy a career does not necessarily make you happy nor does it have to make you happy you are doing it for the money Right, it might be demeaning, but you do you make the best of what you have available to be able to feed yourself and your family. But when it comes to a calling, you're not looking for reward in physical terms, you're looking for reward in metaphysical terms. When you, I use the word metaphysical, the word meta means beyond, right? So when I say metaphysical, I'm saying it's the words that are beyond physical in simple terms, I would say spiritual, right? So, but metaphysical equal to spiritual, right. And that's what calling is. It just makes you happy. It makes you fulfilled in life, right? And we went through the, the, explaining both of them last week, said different between them, right? Sometimes it's together, your career and your calling might be the same. And sometimes they are far apart, right? You go do the work to get the money. Then you go do your calling to get the joy, right? So different for different people. Now, this is, this is new. I didn't do this last week. So, being able to come to decide which one is your career and your calling could be a nightmare for some people because there's a fight, there's a struggle, right? You are thinking, should I do, which one should I do, right? I'm going to quickly stop, see if there's a question, then I'll see if I can continue. Han, do you have any question or do you see any question anywhere, posted anywhere? Uh, no, I, no, I don't have any questions. All right, so I'm going to continue then. So, yes. uh, Making a decision is, 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 is fundamental, right? We are, we, are, we are created to be a deciding human being. Our decision either give us life or give us death. See where we are today. He made the decision that to eat the, out of, the, out of the, 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 the tree of knowledge of good and evil and see what it has done to us. He has taken us from glory and we are falling short of that glory, right? So, and we also make decisions every day and they either give us life or they give us death or they just keep us, for people that can't make decisions, they just sit on the, on the fence, oh, I can't make decisions. If I make this decision, this is it. If I make that decision, this is it. Uh, uh, you just go to depression, all right? Like there's a, there's a there one of my bros, my a daughter lied to me, trying to make a decision between two men. For one man, He's always known the man, hey, all right. Uh, they helped her through school and all of that. But the man is AS and she's AS. The man does not have a job, right? So they're still waiting for one day that God will give pro promote the man to have a job. And maybe something will happen to the AS. The man thinks he can do something to the AS, right? Change the AS or something. Now another man is coming around who is a friend to her the good friends, the man is working. The man is AA. And you're still waiting for the man that is AS. You better make a decision. You have to look into the future. If I stay with AS, just project into the future. Am I willing to take all the things that will come along with it? Or if I should go with AA? You know, you have, you have to make a decision. Your decisions will not always be correct or But you learn. The only way you learn how to make decisions is by making decisions. The good ones, fine for you. The bad ones, you learn less sin. But you can never, now cannot sit on the fence. If you sit on the fence, you will never learn how to make decisions and you'll get depressed. Your life will not go forward until you make that decision. And maybe if you wait too long, the things you want to decide for will leave you. So you have to make decisions and learn from them. You know, there's an acronym we, 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 we use the word for fear. We say, fail early and responsibly. Right, we took use acronym for fear. Fail early and responsibly. Take that decision. If it's bad, you learn from it. 
if it's, if it's good, good for you. But take that decision. Because if you don't take that decision today and you're pushing, 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 you have lost time. That time will have been time you can use to correct. The only way you will grow and learn how to make decisions is to make decisions. And stop second, second guessing yourself, right? You second guessing yourself, you're abusing yourself. You're going to depression. I have been two times in depression because of this, right? Once in 2008, I sold a house that I put, I built with my blood, right? But I didn't like the way it was going. Some things happened around the, and I felt I was getting discouraged. All my efforts, you know, and I made the rush decision to sell it. After I sold it, I should have just stayed with that decision. Rather, I now started regretting selling it. And I was in depression. I fell into depression for two years. I cried, I cried over that house for two years. I wasted two years. Two years I could have used to do better things. Right? I disturbed the whole of my family. My, I was, I was, it was affecting my work, all of that. It affected the whole of my life. I became depressed. I couldn't enjoy life. That was a devil. Though. So when you hear me talk, I'm talking from experience. Right, I cried over that house for two years. Again, just recently, you know, in 2018, you know, we had some issues and I, I started regretting some decisions again, right? I didn't learn from the first one. So God just say, you have not learned and go ahead. And I made it, something happened. Instead of me to just, it has happened. I'm thinking about how to work. I started regretting, I started thinking about, oh, why did it happen to me? Hey, this, 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 this. I was in depression for two years again, two wasted years. So I have four wasted years from lack of decision. So if I tell you, if I'm talking strong, I'm talking from experience, I lost four good years of my life because I started second guessing a decision I made or something had happened to me, right? Life is what it is, grow. Life is what it is, make the best of what you have, right? Things will happen. You are not in control of everything, no. Those that try to do control, oh, control this, yeah, this, control that, control that. It's weakness, so it's not strength. You cannot control everything, right? There are some things you can control. There are things you cannot control. Your, what is expected of you in life is focus on the things you can control and make the best of them. The ones that you cannot control, mm -hmm, just do your security net to know how you will respond to them because they will happen regardless of you. Yours is to respond responsibly. And be to respond to it, all right, right? No right and reacting. Plan ahead for them, do what you can do, right? You cannot stop it. So make the best of what life throws at you, right? And when we start coming to career also, you know, there's really no best career. I'm an engineer, right? We used to think that, oh, best engineer, best job is engineer, doctor, lawyer. But life has proved us wrong. I have people that have read Yoruba that have gone into executive positions. I mean, I'm not even executive with all my engineering and all my intelligence. People have read Yoruba. People have had third class and have made it in life. Great career. It is not the best career. It is not the, there's no best career. Whatever your hand find it to do, do it well. You're doing it is what will promote you, not whether you read engineering, lawyer, and all of that, right? Those are old mentalities. Make the best of what your hand finds to do. Give you an example, private life. My daughter is intelligent, right? She got admitted into university for civil engineering. But then she decided that mm, all I want to do is make money. I don't want to do civil engineering. I want to do economics. I did not stop out, right? The important thing is her being happy. My job as a father is to help her make money because I know how to make money. So I'm developing a curricula for her to make money. Uh, it doesn't matter what she reads. She said she wants to read economics. I've already done a plan for her, what she will read. After she's in first, first degree, I've already planned second degree. I've already planned plus several options for her, right? There is no best option, no. It's you make the best of what you have, right? So a life is an experience, experiment. You will try different things. And somehow when you find where you want to be, you will know. So like I say, I plan different 
options for my daughter. I will not force her through. Have discussed me with her. We have to have an agreement for her. If she wants it, mm, I'll just tell her the plus minus. Because I know it's, 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 it's an experiment. Life is an experiment. So when you sit on the fence saying, should I do, should I do, should I, should I do, should I, should I do. Take one, decide one, you will learn. Just find one that your heart is attuned to. Make the best, but pick one. Don't sit on the fence. That's the easy way to depression, right? So we have these three criteria also that helps us in, in not just um, I've updated, updated this, but it's not it's not showing here. But when you are trying to satisfy work, get the work you should go, career you should go. There are three things you probably look at. What are my talents? Don't forget, you know, you cannot judge a fish by how he can climb a mountain. <laughs> You're putting the fish in the wrong place. The fish is a fish. He will never be able to climb a mountain, right? So look at what is it that your talents, what are your affinities? That might help you in deciding what to decide as a career. But what are the things that interest you? And what are your values, right? If you're an environmental person like my daughter, who thinks that, oh, oil industries, they are polluting the air, they are this, this, this. She will never enjoy working in the industry that I work, right? There will be limitations in doing that, right? So you have to know what are my talents, what are my affinities, what are my interests, what are my values? That would help, you know, in being able to do that. And when we talk about talents, we're talking about, you know, just know who you are. Like I said, you can't judge a fish on how to, how to climb a mountain. Right? What are your interests? Your interests comes from they're shaped by your uh, by your beliefs. Right? What is my belief? Right? Th th those will help in your interest. Uh, and lastly, talking about uh, values here, you have to know the things that you prize. You know what what are based on your experience of life, your knowledge. What are the things? What are your, what's your value system? What the value cater? Because we do a job that is in, that's against your value system, you will never enjoy it. You will never progress in it. There will always be something saying you're in the wrong place. So you need to find something that matches your talent, your interest and your values, you know, for you to truly be able to be at rest in whatever you so choose. All right, so we'll pretty much just close out still the first part. Uh, the second and the last part are easy and we can close them out next week. So I'll leave that to my dear sister, treasure to do that so um pretty much we're done it's already uh 8 30 so i need to let you